Hello students. So in the last lecture, I told you all that the big great statement of De Broglie hypothesis, which was not a very simple statement to make that a particle of momentum P has an associated wavelength lambda is equal to h upon P. And this de Broglie hypothesis implies the famous Heisenberg uncertainty principle. A particle and it was not a simple statement to make. A particle of momentum P has an associated wavelength given by given by lambda is equal to h upon p sorry h cross h upon p if i take h cross i have to take 2 pi h cross okay h and p this really laid the foundation of quantum physics and this de broglie hypothesis implies the famous Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Uncertainty principle. And what does this principle say? Uncertainty principle. This principle states that there are no states of well defined position and momenta for the quantum particle. There are no states of well defined position and momenta. And the product of uncertainties, the product of uncertainty, the product of uncertainties in position and momentum that is delta x and delta p x also taken in x direction satisfies this relation. If we have a state of definite momenta p, if I say, then the uncertainty in the position of that particle will be infinite and vice versa. And for a real particle, the product of uncertainties will satisfy delta x into delta p x greater than equal to h cross. Now let us try to produce such a state, quantum state. Now what we will do? Let us try to produce. And then we will see whether this principle holds or not. State of well defined position and momenta. Classically, you know that if a particle for example is rolling on a slope or a car is running on the road, then at point at certain position R naught, we know the momentum of the car. So, in classical classically, any state has a well defined position and momenta. You can have R naught comma p naught. A state is well defined. If I want to try similar thing in quantum case, let's see what happens. Now in quantum case, what happens? Let us take an electron. 
which is which is accelerated through an potential difference v an electron accelerated accelerated through a potential difference through a potential difference difference v then it will acquire momenta p not square is equal to 2 m e v and the momenta will be under root 2 m e v now let me fire this electron in the x direction towards a slit of width d in y direction so what is in y direction the slit this electron fired in x direction towards a slit this electron is fired in x direction with momentum p not towards a slit of slit width d the width is in y direction okay now so electron can go anywhere through the slit so definitely in y direction the uncertainty of the electron in its position can be reasonably be reasonably taken as delta y approximately equal to d okay and d is the slit width slit width now on the screen first i want to see what is the what is its y momenta of the electron obviously classically it is zero but quantum mechanically the electron is associated with a wave whose wavelength is given by lambda is equal to 2 pi h cross upon v not that that's what de broglie hypothesis says now if such a case then the electron it diffracts through the slit and i get a diffraction pattern on the screen and because the electron is diffracted there is a finite probability of finding the electron in the y direction and this can happen only when the electron has a significant momenta in the y direction so classically the y momentum of electron is zero but quantum mechanically not but quantum mechanically the electron is associated with a wave whose wavelength is given by 2 pi h cross upon p not and such a wave when it hits the slit it diffracts such a wave when it hits the slit it diffracts the wave has a significant amplitude in y direction also giving its first zero at an angle the wave has significant amplitude in y direction giving its first zero first zero at an angle given by d sin theta equal to lambda 
I can find from here sin theta lambda upon d. Lambda is given by de Broglie hypothesis as 2 pi h cross upon d into p naught. For small angle, if angle is very small, I can take approximately sin theta is equal to theta and I can take 2 pi h cross upon p naught into d. Now, the total opening angle if theta is in the positive direction here theta this is theta theta will be in lower direction so then the total opening angle will be 2 theta so total opening angle angle is 2 theta 4 pi h cross upon p naught into t now let me see how much uncertainty do I have in the momenta in the y direction. Definitely I have the same uncertainty in y momenta as the angular width 2 theta. The y momenta has has a prob probability distribution uh, of angular width of opening angle angular width 2 theta and we get delta p y greater than equal to p naught into 2 theta. I can also write that delta p y is 2 p naught sin theta p naught sin theta in the above in the positive y direction and p naught sin theta in negative y direction. So when sin theta is very small I can take as theta. So I get 2 p naught theta. Now substituting the values of 2 theta which I got earlier 4 pi h cross upon p naught into d I will get 4 pi h cross upon d and already we know that the uncertainty in position in y direction is approximately equal to the slit width the electron can go anywhere from the slit substituting this value in the above equation i get delta p y delta y d will come on left hand side greater than equal to 4 pi h cross this 4 pi can be fixed so the electron does not have a definite momenta in y direction when it emerges from the slit if there is some uncertainty in the position of the electron then the product of the uncertainties in the position and the momenta they satisfy Heisenberg uncertainty relation. The electron has an uncertainty in its momenta, momenta when it emerges from the slit. This shows that the Heisenberg uncertainty relation is correct. The quantum particle will satisfy the Heisenberg uncertainty relation and this is being implied by the de Broglie hypothesis because we got that because the particle is matter particle is associated with a wave of lambda this in turn implies that the famous Heisenberg uncertainty relation and also in the previous lecture we saw that we in the act of localizing the electron has in turn introduced the uncertainty in his momenta. We will try to do some few problems on de Broglie hypothesis and try to see that how 
द डी ब्रॉगली वेव लेंथ बिहेव्स फॉर अ मूविंग पार्टिकल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू